at about 11.15 this morning, a man in a roped off area of the backstage portion of Reliant Arena uh, with the sign out of his belt, showed it to Perry, very clearly didn't see what it read. The police say it was fairly obscene but wouldn't tell us exactly what it was. An officer jumped into the stands to arrest the man. HPD won't give us any more details about why or exactly what the sign said or where that man is right now. There were more protesters outside. My colleague Kevin Quinn spent the day from Clinton era. Kevin. Yeah, Ted, protesters lined the east side of Kirby Drive here most of the day despite the scorching heat out here at a site. Maybe 100 people or so all right now are gone. They took a stand, they say, against hate and a governor who they feel has overstepped his authority. Outside Reliant Stadium. The response to the response. Daniel Cates was among the protesters, carrying what was supposed to resemble a casket, one bearing the names of all those gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender youth who have committed suicide as a result of bigotry. I don't need a book to tell me that we are all equal. One of the primary sponsors of the rally is the American Family Association, a group criticized by civil rights groups for anti-homosexual, anti-Islamic, and other defamatory statements. This is intolerance. This is hatred. Others accuse Governor Rick Perry of using his office and this event for personal gain. I'm offended by the fact that my governor is using a prayer event in order to run for president. Much was made here about the separation of church and state, whether the governor was using his office to promote his religion. That crosses the line. That, that's an un-American dishonoring of the wonderful principle of freedom in this country. So some of those driving by shot thumbs up to protesters. Others made other hand gestures. Perfect strangers brought water as a sign of solidarity. And we found that not all church leaders were inside. Among the protesters, a pastor, Dan DeLeon from College Station. The governor would probably doing, be, be doing a lot more good in governing the state of Texas than trying to put together prayer rallies. Now, the Anti-Defamation League has said that it is its belief that this rally was both religiously divisive and constitutionally unacceptable. The governor's office has not returned our repeated requests for comment today. Rally organizers say this event was open to anyone who wanted to attend. We have heard of only peaceful disagreement out here among supporters and protesters. We are live just outside Reliance Stadium, Kevin Flynn, 13 Eyewitness News.